Okay, I've just arrived at my school and I have 15 minutes to get what I need. My name is Michelle Jones and I am an elementary special education teacher. Now that we've just finished our first week of remote learning, I can't help but to feel a little guilty about just not being able to be there to sort my, support my students with a learning disability. The hallways are dark. Let's see, oh, here's my room. No one's here, no kids. My empty classroom. Some of the challenges I'm seeing with our physical distance is not being able to be right there to guide a student with encouraging words when they're on the right track. But overall, it's just been really challenging not to be able to do everything that I want to do for my students. My bags are packed over here, and I think I got everything. So what keeps me up at night is thinking about some of my students' home life. I know a lot of them do have mental health issues as well, and I just worry about them. Leaving my building now until who knows when, but I am hopeful that we're going to be back here this year. Hi, my name is Brian Corcoran. I'm 45 years old and I recently started working as a unit aide in a long-term care facility that is in the midst of a fight against COVID-19. It is the long-term care facility that my mother is at. She's on the third floor corner units. We had been restricted from visiting for about two weeks. I applied for a job and less than 24 hours later I had completed training and was starting my first shift working on my mother's floor. First stop. I'll take your temperature. I am feeling stressed, I'm feeling nervous. I also feel satisfaction that in some small way, shape or form I'm participating and I'm helping. What keeps me up at night is the idea of introducing the coronavirus into the long-term care facility, all the more so because my mother is among the residents that I care for. What really gives me hope is the people that I am working with, the employees deserve more credit than we could ever possibly give them. Hi, my name is Carmelo Kuki. I'm in my mid-40s, and I'm a resource teacher with the Toronto Catholic District School Board. Part of the work I do is embrace new technologies and deliver help to teachers. Using this 3D printer, we're producing personal protection equipment for our healthcare workers. My specialty is STEAM integrating science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We've produced 50 of these headgears for the Michael Guerin Hospital. We're a family of five, and every room becomes a homework space. Projects in the living room, 3D printing. But we do our best to help where we can. What I'm hopeful for is that people become really appreciative of the fact that they can just go out and see family and be with friends in public places and really enjoy being around each other's company.